We always talk about kinetic chain relationships with our patients. And one of the things that will come up, for example, is Thomas Meyer's spiral line from anatomy trains. Now, a great way to do a nice stretch and release technique for that entire spiral line is by having uh, your patient lie on your side here. We'll demonstrate. We've got Mickey here helping out. And basically, we're going to follow that line from the bottom of the foot all the way up, crossing at the pelvis into the abdominal musculature, onto the opposing side, up the serratus, and all the way up into the shoulder there, following the rhomboids. So as you can visualize that, it's a spiral line that comes up, almost like a, a double helix in DNA, as it would wrap up the body like that. So we're going to start out with the leg here. I'm going to start out in the glute area, and we're going to start to work our way down the line. Mickey can give us some feedback here as we work our way down. That's good pressure, yeah. Good pressure? Yeah. Okay, good. So we'll follow this all the way. And this is quite... Oh yeah, you can feel that right there. Oh, yeah. Doing okay? Yeah, doing good. good. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> yeah, you can feel a bit of restriction once I get into this. Yeah, so we work our way down and making sure, you know, we're getting full range of motion here. Doing okay? Yeah. yeah. So working my way down the lateral side of the lower leg into the peroneals now. And then even lower. And we're going to start to invert the foot at the bottom here, working the way, all the way down the line. Doing okay there? Yeah. yeah. You can really feel it at the end reach here. There we go. Good. Good. Now we're going to work our way back up into the abdomen. And as you can see, the vector goes across the abdomen as it wraps around the opposite side. So we're going to really bring the leg down. Doing okay? Yeah. yeah you can really feel it at the end range there. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can. <laughs> as I described it. Good. There we go. Just one more here. Oh, yeah. Good. And actually, I lied one last one oh, right there. Oh. Good. Great. So now we're going to have to slowly turn over onto the opposite side. So we're following that line now as it spirals across the abdominal musculature and now up in towards the serratus and then behind the, the shoulder blade here into the rhomboid area. So we're going to have you bring the arm back here. There we go. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. Good. And you can actively assist here a bit. There you go. It might make it easier on you. Doing good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can really feel the restriction right in through here. Good. And just here, getting close to the scapula, the shoulder blade, I'm actually going to go behind and just follow it back through the rhomboids here. Good. Yeah, right there. Doing okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. And right through there. Good. Okay. And as you can see, that's quite an effective way to follow that entire spiral line all the way up to the opposing side. 